Hello, this is Minder Chen. I'm a professor of management information system at Martin Business School of Business Economics, CSU Channel Island. In this lecture, we're going to start to talk about data warehouse and business intelligence. Uh, sometimes we use these two terms interchangeably, but there are um, kind of difference that we will make it clear uh, later for you between the term data warehouse and business intelligence. Uh, business intelligence here um, is to refer really to a process that uh, we, we use to gather meaningful information to answer question, identify significant trends um, or patterns um, and such that we can use such information to make better decision. And <clears throat> Onassis, um, you probably know him by name, uh, is the key, state that the key in business is to know something that nobody else knows. How can you do that? Because you can spot some uh, emerging trend before anybody else uh, may have a chance to understand it. Okay, certainly some people may have an intuition to do that, but um, if we live in a data-driven world, on uh, that. Um, if you can analyze the data, uh, it can help you to uh, understand what are the trendy things happening around us. Um, Berlin um, stated that to understand is to perceive pattern. So pattern is one of the keyword. Understand different pattern, customer uh, purchasing patterns, and is an example of uh, the pattern that's critical in terms of our uh, marketing effort. And Warren Bennis, um, in his book called On Becoming a Leader, uh, stated that the manager um, asks how and when, and the leader uh, asks what and why. Okay. Uh, so how and when is more kind of operational related activity. Uh, what here referring to what is happening and you need information to tell you that, but you need to analyze the information or the data further to tell you why. Keep asking why it's very important in, uh, in our understanding of business intelligence. So keep that in mind. So here's a list of kind of question as a leader or manager may ask. Um, I got this from Bill Baker from Microsoft. Um, you may ask what happened in the past, okay? Like, um, what were our total sales uh, last month, as an example? Okay. You may ask more up-to-date information, like what is happening? Okay. Are our sales going up or down? So you're doing some kind of trend analysis. Okay. But asking what is not, in, uh, is not enough. You need to dig further and, and with a follow-up question like why? If you find out that the sales is going down, you need to ask why have sales gone down? And in the Excel um, kind of tutorial, we do talk about the so-called what if analysis. And and so once you know what is happening, you, you may want to either fix it or enhance it. Um, so what will happen is the next level of question. Okay. Um, on one hand, we can do forecasting. On the other hand, we can conduct a lot of what if analysis. Um, if, if we change our price, uh, if we um, if we putting more money in our uh, marketing effort. And last, not the least, is that um, it's related to planning and, and goal setting. Um, you 
a lot of time you will set your goal. I want to reach uh, one million dollars uh, revenue okay, next year, and then you can work from that goal and kind of backtracking it and decide what you have to do in order to reach that goal. Okay, this is kind of a little bit like go seek function in Excel in 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 the broader sense here. So learn to ask the right question, learn to ask deeper question, and for different type of question, we need different kinds of information to support us to, to answer these questions. In this diagram, we're showing the business value for uh, business intelligence. And on the left hand side, um, we have our business drivers, um, and those drivers can help us to reach desired outcome uh, based on our actions. And but the business goal um, pretty much was set and after you have set your business goal, you need to thinking about what kind of business strategy can help you to achieve this goal. And then eventually you need to have business tactic to help you to implement this strategy. And those tactic would uh, lead to um, some desirable, hopefully some desirable outcome to generate the desirable business result. But those results has to be measured um, by collecting data, transform that into information, maybe even using um, convert the information to generate knowledge and to help us to make better decision. And, and the decision will lead to action. An action will generate desirable outcome, which is really part of the business result. So all the effort on the information system side eventually can help us to evaluate business result. Then we can go back to see whether we have um, developed the proper tactics or our strategy um, has been effective. And potentially we may come back and revise our business goal. And that's where the value of business intelligence come from. So one way to look at the performance side is to look at um, activity within an organization, uh, activity reflected by event and transactions. And we're performing those activity because they are some resource we need to uh, devote it to perform this activity, which hopefully would help us to generate desirable outcome, selling um, products or providing services to our target customer. So we could actually establish a set of um, performance dashboard, um, performance metrics, and we can kind of use visualization tool to visualize those performance measures, um, like a meters, trending line, bar chart, etc., to help us to get a sense of what's going on um, for us to manage our daily business, to plan uh, for the long term as well. So this once again, it's the scorecard. Um, and in in management, sometimes we promote the use of balanced scorecard. You don't just measure the financial metrics. Uh, you need to establish metrics to measure something about your customer, about your business process, about your um, activity related to your growth, innovation, creativity. Okay. For instance, um, getting new customers, okay? That's related to customer metrics, okay? Uh, data warehouse is a process um, that organization um, extract value from their information asset um, database or other data source. And we, we use uh, some specialized data stores, uh, which is usually called data warehouses. Okay. Uh, however, uh, Bill Inman, who is uh, one of the founding um, 
fathers of data warehouse um, state that the data warehouse is a process, okay, not just a data store. And the the purpose of data warehouse or warehousing is to achieve value from information asset. Um, so, but if you refer to data warehouse, that's a noun that uh, it referred to data stores. Bill Inman, once again, uh, he defined data warehouse uh, with the following characteristic, subject oriented, integrated, time variant, and non-volatile. Okay. It's a collection of data uh, that can be used to support management's decision making. Uh, let's kind of define this four characteristic a little bit. Okay. Subject oriented basically means that we're focusing on specific area like uh, we're interested in student enrollment. So it's kind of enrollment data. We're interested in our sales. So you're focusing on the sales data. Okay. Integrated, um, the data that we put in data warehouse come from multiple data so uh, source sources. And so that information from multiple sources need to be integrated and put it in into this data warehouse. Time variant uh, means that the data uh, include historical uh, records. Uh, so not just the current data, but also historical records. So we have a, a nice time series data uh, that we put in, into our data warehouse. Non-volatile just means that um, we're, we're not going to go to the data warehouse uh, to, to change specific uh, data, like uh, changing the price of a product that's usually in your operational database, not in the data warehouse. So the data in the data warehouse um, don't usually change um, um, frequently. We, we do add new data into the data warehouse by uh, refreshing, adding more data uh, in, in kind of a batch fashion. In this kind of hierarchy, uh, we um, it show how we build up um, our business intelligence capability. At the bottom of the this pyramid of hierarchy is the data source, uh, which include traditional database that's used for online transaction processing o OLTP. Then we move up one level, we start building specialized database called data warehouses. And also a subset of data warehouse is called data mart. And we're going to introduce an architecture described what data warehouse looks like, how it's related to those data uh, source. This is just conceptually tell you where they stand. And then when you move one level up, then uh, you're allowed to analyze the data that you store in the data warehouse through statistic analysis, query, and reporting. And this is part of OLAP, okay? Online Analytical Processing. Um, and MDA is kind of multi-dimensional analysis. Uh, sometimes we refer to um, data warehouse as a multi-dimensional database. So that MD, means multi-dimensional. Um, the, the concept of dimension um, will be explained a little bit later, so bear with me. And we can use data mining technique to help us to do a little bit of information discovery, finding new patterns. Okay. Uh, at the very end of this um, data warehousing lecture, we're going to discuss data mining briefly. And once we have that information, then we need to present the data. So we need to use various visualization technique to help us to, to present the data to our target audience. And hopefully that data presented uh, would help them to make better decisions.